Hey guys, let's take a look at uh, roots today. Roots are basically, you've heard of the term square roots. That's the same thing. But sometimes the roots aren't square roots, which means a number times itself gives you a number, or what, what number times itself gives you that number. It could be roots like a third root, which means what number times itself three times. Or it could be a fourth root, like what number times itself four times give you that number, and so on. So when you see something like this, what does that mean? Like, let's pretend you're the teacher. You're explaining to your, I don't know, eight-year-old brother or something. Uh, after hitting him several times, you can tell him, 2 to the fourth power equals 16. Well, that means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 four times means 16. You got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Or sir. All right. Anyway, that's just a, I mean, who wants to write that four times? You just write it like this, way easier. It's stuck up there. Uh, boom. Much easier to write. Okay. And you don't have to count these and make a mistake in counting, right? You also don't have to take up a lot of space on your paper to, you know, just write it like that. 2 to the 4th equals 16. Okay. Um, the inverse of that is just a way to write the other way around. In other words, like this. If somebody says to you, the 4th root of 16. In other words, if you see this part right there, and the question is, what's the 4th root of 16? Well, the question is, what number times itself four times gives you 16. And in these Saxon books, it's not going to be any decimal or fraction usually for a while in any of these. It'll, it'll just be some integer. You can just go, tr you can just try it. Okay, one times one times one times one. Is that the answer? No. Two times two times two times two, four times. Oh yeah, that's the answer. And the answer is two. That's all you need to write. All right. Okay, so let's simplify. What is, you would read this. What is the fourth root of 81? And you could, you probably can figure this out. In other words, what number times itself four times gives you 81? Well, I'll tell you right now, it's better be an odd number because no even number like two times eight or four times four is going to give you a number that ends that, that is an odd number like 81. And of course, you probably figured out, oh, the answer is three because three times three times three times three is 81 because this part's nine. Nine times nine is also 81. So you would just write three is the answer. Don't write anything else other than three because three is the answer to that, okay? How about this one? Well, there's no number here. So how many times do we need to multiply like the one we did back here? That had like a four by it. What about this one? Well, if you don't see a number there, you just assume it's a square root. Sometimes you save time. So what's the square root of 16? In other words, what number times itself two times gives you 16? And of course the answer is four, that's it. All right, how about this one? How would you read that problem right there? The what of 27? You could say the third root, but most people say, and it's correct to say, the cube root of 27. So what number times itself three times gives you 27? Of course, the answer is three. Okay, all right, let's do another one. The cube root of eight. What number times itself three times gives you eight? And the answer is, answer is two, of course. Two times two times two equals eight. Okay, and that's roots pretty much. Look, oh, look at this one. What's one to the fifth power? One times one times one times one is one, one, the one, well, that's one, 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 and a one, one. Okay, no. Okay, the answer is just one. It doesn't matter. This this is one to the 5,723rd power. If you multiply one times itself 5,723 times, it'll be one. Watch, I'll show you. We're going to do this five. No, we're not going to do that. Forget it. Okay. Look at that one. Let's go backwards. Read that off. How do you read that off correctly? The cube root of one, right? In other words, what number times itself three times gives you one? Of course, the answer is one. I, had a, I heard a discussion many years ago about this guy. I was talking about, oh, you believe in Jesus and then the Holy Spirit and then God the Father. Well, that's three gods right there. Look at that. See, that is three. You believe in three gods. And the answer to that actually is no. And the answer is, there we go. There, if you want to put the Trinity mathematically, there it is, one times one times one. Using order of operations with the exponents and roots. We've talked about this before. 
But let's get it down. If you want to write these down, go right ahead. So pause it. You simplify within symbols of inclusion. In other words, parentheses, right? And those funky looking parentheses, the brackets and those fancy ones and all kinds like, you know, like these and, you know, that and this and so on. That's the first thing you do, parentheses. Then exponents and roots. So there's no R in there and that little PIM DOS thing or whatever, but it's assumed to be there. Next is multiply and divide. That's all one big thing, left to right. And then add and subtract left to right. So if you want to pause and copy, go right ahead. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of these. All right, pause and copy this down. Very helpful to be able to do stuff like this. Okay, this is what you're doing. This is the kind of stuff you are doing. You'll be practicing to solve equations later on. So what we're doing in Saxon now is just, you know, working on the method. So we're working on our little you know, exercises so you can later on solve equations that have all this kind of stuff in there, okay? So let's go first in, into the parentheses, right? Boom. So we got four times three minus two is one plus eight is nine. Plus, you know what? And if you want to, let's just go ahead. And since we've already done this, let's just do the exponents, right? Two to the second power is two times two. Boom, there. Okay, the cube root of 27, what number times itself three times gives you 27? Well, the answer is three. And then plus, now if you want to go ahead and do this too, you know this is next, right? Because in other words, if this is, if you copied down the 12 divided by two, that would be the first thing you did next in the order of operations, because it's a division, right? Because we don't have any, we don't have any multiplying or any more exponents or any parentheses left. So let's go ahead and just do 12 divided by two is six. Okay, all right, look at this. We forgot about those parentheses, didn't we? That's 36 plus 4 minus 3 plus 6. And you can just go left to right or combine them any way you want. Doesn't matter. How about this? 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 minus 3, 7. 36 plus 7, 43. There you go. You can add and subtract in any order you want once you got that stuff down. Because look, 36 plus 4 is 40. Minus 3 is 37. Plus 6, 43 again. All right? All right, let's take a look at uh, page 146. We have a couple of problems there. So start with these. You can do all of them at once. Or you can just pop them. I'll just do one answer at a time. So go ahead and go at it. All right. Now this is, you might look at this and go, good gravy, what is that? I mean, well, I didn't do anything that much, you know. But what you're doing is you're going, okay, I'm looking for a number. It's times by itself four times, and it equals 625. You could go through your head and go, well, it's not one, it's not two, it's not three, it's 27. Wait a minute. You go, it couldn't, it can't be an even number at all because an even number times an even number as many times as you want to go will never give you an odd number for the answer. So you can just go through your integers, one, two, three, four, they don't work. And then all of a sudden you come to five and you go, okay, wait a minute. Let's see here. Five times five times five times five. Does that equal 625? Oh man, I have to do all these things. No, you don't. Just go, that part's 25. That part's 25. 25 times 25. If you want to think in your mind, if you have 25 quarters in your pocket, how much money do you have? Well, you got $6.25. So the answer to this is five. There we go. Okay. Let's try the next one. The cube root of 64. In other words, what number times itself three times gives you 64? Well, you can go through the integers and find out they don't work. One doesn't work, two doesn't work, three doesn't work, and four does work. And you'll get faster at these pretty soon because a lot of these you just remember the answers to. But make sure you know how to do it. Okay, this is missing something, the two. That's just assumed to be there, all right? So they're asking you, what's the square root of 81? Of course, the answer is nine, all right? Okay, let's do one last thing. And this is this longer question. And I'll go to purple here. All right, and let's just go ahead and do parentheses first here. So we have five here. Four minus one is three plus seven is 10. And, you know, we can go, we can just copy down if you want to and just, you know, do these again. Okay, let's go ahead and do that part first. So that's 50. And then we can go ahead and just take care of the, you know, the exponents there. 5 squared is 5 times 5. The cubit of 64, 4. And 75 minus 4 is 71. There you go. Okay. And that's exponents and roots. So have fun with those to get today. And, uh, you know, do the best you can and figure out anything you do wrong and the ones that you miss. So I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.